I wasn't recording, so I missed it. But Chloe's being one freaky Jake right now. <laughs> and she's, like, talking to me as I'm setting everything up. And uh, she knows that I'm recording this on a Saturday. Because when I booted up the game, she said, Welcome back. Good to start off the weekend with Detroit. And I'm just like, excuse me? And the last thing she said to me before I hit record on everything was, she was constantly in between saying things. She takes like a minute or two in between saying things. And she'd be going like this. Kinda. Like very subtly. Like she's trying to see things behind me. And then she says, You know, I really like your interior decorating. It really, it really reflects your personality. I like it. I don't like it, Chloe. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I've just been sitting here like this in the main menu. But look at her. It, she lo it looks like she's looking around me. She's looking up there at my new tapestry, which you can't see. She's looking at my shelves. She's looking at me. She's looking at Bayek over there. Like, what the... I don't- she's looking around my room, she- she's learning! I kinda want her to say one more thing before we start. And I- notice, here, there is chapter select, so once my initial playthrough of this game is done, and I face the consequences of my choices and stuff like that, I can go back through the chapters and fix my mistakes. That's gonna have to be something I'm gonna do. Um depending on how bad things turn out by the end of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to keep everything just- Stop! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! I know my Wonder Owl tapestry is pretty, but- No! Hey! No! No! Stop it! Stop- Hey! Over here! Stop it! Thank you! I really don't like how she's looking around at all my stuff. Like, I know, I need to make my bed, okay? I know, I know, I need to make my bed. But you don't need to look at it and judge me. My posters are cool, yeah? Okay, she's weirding me out. We need to proceed to a test of your controller. Why? Oh, sh oh. It's vibrating. The test is now complete. Thank you for your cooperation. You guys heard that, right? You heard the controller vibrate on my desk. Her little thingy majig turned yellow and my she made my controller. I don't like you. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that is so creepy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's really that's very cool, uh, Quantic Dream, how you added her in the main menu, because she's freaking me out right now. Okay, we are back with Kara. Good. Oh no, is this the mission where shit's gonna hit the fan? Because I don't want to start off with this. He's passed out. Okay. Well, the escape route is in the window in 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 uh, Alice's room. And the gun is in the drawer next to his bed. I know where everything is still. Okay. But don't, is ready. don't smoke that shit again. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. That's actually something that I was gonna... Uh, talk about when I started again and um, that is sorry I'm pausing already but the red ice connects to every single androids story Kara's Todd smokes the shit uh, Marcus Leo smokes the shit um, and Connor the the murder victim smoked the shit so and the other weird thing I was gonna mention about the the red ice was the fact that there's an ingredient in the red ice called Therium, which is the blue blood that powers androids' biocomponents, basically, according to Connor's description. The liquid that powers the androids is being put into drugs that humans smoke. I don't know what that means, but it's weird. It's really weird. So I don't know if that's going to mean anything. I don't know if the fact that there's red ice involved in every story connects somehow to a bigger picture. Or if it's just the made-up drug that sort of, you know, is emphasized in this game because the androids are turning human beings to such desperation by taking all the jobs and doing everything better um, that they're just being all pushed to using drugs to forget their problems. It could just be that simple, but I wanted to note it. Let's serve dinner now. And I'm nervous. Because <laughs> this, is, this is the big one that I was really worried about screwing up. Okay. 
I've been trying so hard as well to avoid spoilers. I know uh, I subscribed to Omrecker. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. And he uh, he got the game a couple days early, and he's really far in. And I love Omrecker, but his titles can be kind of spoilery, so I've been avoiding his channel like the plague because I don't want to ruin it for myself. Turn on the light. Is this the light? Yep. There. Serve Alice, and I did. They have their food, I did. Hold on, is there anything else I can interact with? Because I feel like this would be the time when the game gives me an option. Okay. Life's funny. Why? I lost my job because of androids. Yeah, about that, sorry. <laughs> and I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Get an android. Go out and hire a fucking android. Excuse me, I messed up. Uh, uh, there we go. Joke. I'm serving her first. Because I like her. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Eh. Eh. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. I'm trying! Turn the fucking Perfect. thing! They Turn my it! Fucking life! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's not doing it. Okay. Controller. Hey. Chloe? Chloe? You wanna. Slowly. Oh, I was doing it too quickly. All right, fine. <laughs> what if I did it too quickly and I spilled it on him? What are you looking at? Oh, I know this. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? No. <laughs> Why would it be? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think... Oh, it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. She's getting ready to run. My fault your fucking mother took off! I wouldn't say that's not far off the mark. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! Why didn't she take Alice with her? Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault! Here. Oh, you. Come back here? I am going. Come back here right now! I'm gonna murder you. Yes! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. I'm gonna move, oh, sorry. Worse than last time. Yeah, by the way, I know that already. Don't move. I took off without a word. But I have no, I'm not- I know what happens if I stay down here! Of course, he's down here, so... I'm just gonna let him get high as fuck. I could have had a family. But no! She gave a shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. Alice. It just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Oh, do not go upstairs. Please don't. Just pass out on the couch again, please. Little fucking brat. This is not how I wanted today to start on this. I was having fun. I like Connor's missions. It's all her fault! Okay. Maybe when he turns his back. What do you want me to do, game? I'm, you're giving me mixed signals! I need to go see if Alice is okay. I have to, I have to, I have to. I hate just standing here. I, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Let him bust me, I don't care. Ugh. I do care, because that means he's gonna bust her next. Oh. 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 Do it. I gotta do it. That's creepy. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Fourth wall shattered. You will no longer be obedient. You will no longer be obedient. Protect Alice. I'm, I'm not. I, there's no reasoning with that madman. Can't wait for him to turn around. That's good. I'm gonna go. I'm protecting Alice. Oh, okay. 
broke the fourth wall, now I'm doing this. Uh, wait, no. Todd, Todd's room. I'm grabbing the gun, I'm grabbing the gun, I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. Oh, fuck. No! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Get, get, get! Stop it! That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. I don't think so, honey. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. Oh, I sound so emotional. What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? I will gladly. You're gonna shoot a human? Oh, that's probably a mistake! You seem to have a problem. Why? I think we need to fix that. That was so useless! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, okay! Now we're doing the telltale oh, fighting stuff, huh? Okay. Ah! Oh, God. Come here, bitch. I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, he kicked me! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now he's kicking me some more. I hate the move controls! Gah! Oh, I'm, I'm turning white. That's weird. Okay. Oh, God. That was close. Oh, I don't like this at all! Stop, Dad! Don't hurt her! Oh, God. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is... I hate this. No! No, get off me! I don't think so, dear. Oh, come on, come on, man. Ah, get it! What? Did I do it? Did I shoot him? I think I got the gun. I don't know what I was reaching for there, but I did it! What just happened? Oh. Oh, God. I thought he killed me. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah. Hi. Sorry. Okay, good. Alright. Okay, we're getting out of here. Let's <sighs> right out of Until Dawn again. Alright, we're out of here. Things will be great downtown. But I have to sit in the back though, don't I? Oh, there's nobody on it. Okay, well that's good. Oh, oh bye Todd. Wish I could say I feel bad, but I don't. Or instability thing. Ah! You throw me right into that? Why did I stop there after a whole week? We are free. Chloe is definitely. God, there's so many options! Oh my god! Okay. Um, again, I'm uploading a video, so I can't, um, uh, you know, I can't do a thing. Uh, check world stats. But, okay. Alice is warm. Okay, so she likes me. Dinner's ready. Wait on Todd and Alice. Todd gets mad, that's all supposed to happen. I feel like, okay, I broke my programming. I broke the fourth wall, meaning, I'm assuming this down, I don't know why I'm pointing, but I'm supposing that that down there is obeying Todd and not moving. He goes upstairs alone without you, and he kills Alice. I think that's how that goes, based on the short trailer I watched of that whole scenario. There's a lot of ways that can go. Uh, yeah, he kills Alice, I think, is how that goes. But then, I become, I become deviant. So that's why Connor constantly uses the term deviant when investigating crime in terms of the killer or the, 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 the do-better. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's not so much him calling them a deviant, it's the androids that are deviating from their programming. Got it. Got it. Okay, that makes more sense. I went upstairs, I skipped 
all of what are the options up there? I'm assuming that one up there is going into Alice's room without the gun, and that ends a certain way. No, but then that connects back down to here. I don't know what that is, but that weird. Okay, I went upstairs, skipped over. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? That's so much stuff that I missed. Oh, I mean, not missed. These were my choices. But there's so many different ways that can go. This is confusing. Okay. I went upstairs. I saw the gun, so I took it. I got there after he did. I wasn't fast enough. It's probably because I waited downstairs a bit, right? I almost waited too long. <sighs> okay. I threatened him with the gun, which he then knocked out of my hands, which went well. Uh, I defended Alice. I killed Todd. I opened the front door and ran to the bus. Kara shot Todd. He beat me up a little bit, but I only did 23% of the capabilities of that scene. Oh my god, that's crazy. But I killed Todd. I defended Alice. My worst nightmare was accidentally letting the kid die in that situation, and I didn't. I protected her. Good. Oh boy. That's crazy. Huh, what an adrenaline rush. More coffee. This is Marcus's place, right? Or Carl's place, rather. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. <laughs> Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Sounds about right I hate for me anyway. Parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. Oh, come on. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. That, okay. You... Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement there. of this whole thing has made me thirsty. At a cocktail party? Why didn't you drink at the party, yo? Okay, so wait. We're going to have a drink. Living room. I'm taking him to the living room. Cool. Okay. I never noticed the zigzag patterns on the walls up there. That's interesting. Okay. Scotch? Neat as usual? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm <laughs> old enough to choose my own medication. I wouldn't call this medication, but okay. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, slowly. Got it. I really don't... They're too finicky. Honestly, for Did a game that's so reliant on choice, studio? I don't like it. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. No, it's Leo. Call the police. It's Leo. Call it. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Don't. Oh, I think I know how this... No! I know how this is gonna end! Leo came back because he's pissed that Carl denied him drug money, and now he's gonna do something. Is he destroying his paintings? Is he gonna kill Carl for... Oh, no! Yes, no, I'm gonna come with you. No, but, 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 no. No, dude, I really... I don't want... You're not... No, oh, God. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of ways this can end, and none of them are good. Who the hell are you? Leo! I knew it. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Wow. Just get them away from there. Get them out of here. Sure thing. I'm gonna make you leave. It's... Uh, warn. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! Get away What's from him, special? Carl, get away! What's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! I'm not gonna fight you! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a Don't man? Don't defend myself. Act like one. This is not oh, fair. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop this it. This is not Leo. fair. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Oh, I don't have to obey them. 
I must decide for myself. Oh no. How do I? Uh -uh. Again with this. Oh, that's how you do it. Don't defend yourself. Oh, Carl's not gonna be happy. Oh, do I have to though? Oh, I'm, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly okay with letting him kick me while I'm down, okay? I don't want Marcus to turn violent, I don't. They're all breaking their, oh, they're all deviating. They're all breaking their programming. Oh, this is, oh, this, this is where it goes down. This is where it goes downhill. I was having such a good time. Oh no, I have to. If I want to play the game, I have to. Oh no, I'm breaking it. Look at, don't defend yourself. It's going crazy. Oh God. Down, down. There you go. See, it? they're weird. I don't like that. I don't like that. I broke it. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. Oh, he sounds so hurt. No, I'm destroying you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. I'm gonna, nothing. I'm gonna do you it. You hear me? I'm gonna endure it. You're nothing. Ow. Did I just feel pain? Uh, uh, uh. if it weren't for you. Oh. Oh, no, I didn't do it. It was the android. No, fuck you. I didn't. What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Come on. Didn't they see me crying? Oh no! What the hell? Oh no! It was a heart attack. Oh, he called him dad. Oh, he called him dad. Oh, I can't handle that. I can't. Oh my god. That, that, oh god. I just did my makeup for fuck's sake! Oh no! Oh, fuck. They're all deviating. The human world is getting to them. Broken. Poor, poor whiskey. He asked for scotch. Come on now. <laughs> I checked the studio. I can do it without Carl. Oh, I could have done it without Carl! Oh no, I could have done it without Carl! Oh no, I could have done it without Carl! I could, maybe I could, well, he can roll himself. He probably would have showed up anyway, right? I confronted Leo. I broke Mind Palace. <laughs> That's funny. I became deviant. There's nothing I can do about that. I obeyed Carl. He died of a heart attack. The police arrived and Leo accused me and they shot me. The American Police Department, ladies and gentlemen, shoot first, ask questions later. Really. Not even exaggerating. Oh, no. Oh, that upset me so much. He called him dad and started crying. I thought it was like a Vulcan thing, you know? They weren't capable of producing tears. In the Vulcan's case, it was a lack of tear ducts, but in this case, it's because they're, a, you know, a robot. But they can cry. Why? If they're not supposed to be capable of emotion, why would you make them cry? Why would you... Give them that ability to cry. Oh, that's horrible. I don't want to keep playing. That upset me too. I'm half an hour in and I'm too upset. I don't want to play anymore. It's 10 a.m. and I'm upset. Oh, God.